everyone, this is Mr. Work Smarter and I am currently in Necker Island, honestly. I'm just grateful for this opportunity. Like, this is just a once in a lifetime thing. Like, when my girlfriend told me that we're going to Necker Island, I was like, huh? Um, as in Richard Branson's Island? Like, because I've heard great things about this place. It's not a place you can just go online and book. So, like, this was just like, whoa that like this is really happening so i was so excited and i'm so happy to be here today is the last day we are leaving um, but i have had such an amazing time you know, so many fun activities zip lining safari playing football jacuzzi everything like honestly this place is paradise and if you ever get the opportunity to go i would definitely recommend this place but whilst out here, I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about how I stay productive during my trips. People are like, Dennis, how come you travel so often? My girl is a YouTube influencer or a beauty blogger, I should call it. And she gets the opportunity to travel around the world with a number of friends. And obviously, I'm just a lucky plus one. So, although it's about having fun and it's great and everything, sometimes I've got to take a step back and like just remember what my focus is and what my goals are. So during the trips, I always so ensure that I get my stuff done. It's all about getting things done. Like obviously this is fantastic and I'm gonna make the most of this. I'm not just gonna sit around and just work. What's the point of me being here? But at the same time, how do I stay productive? And I'm gonna give you five tips to stay productive during your holiday trips. So the first thing you do is schedule things. So whether that's you want to reserve an activity, a restaurant, make sure you reserve things in advance just in case it gets fully booked. Um, just so you can work things around your plan. Um, I don't like just waking up and thinking, okay, what am I doing? I like to know what I'm going to do. So I like to plan things. The next thing I like to do is wake up early. Like my girl, she wakes up late. So for me, I wake up early so I can use that time, that free time to get things done. Do any important client work have any one-to-one -one culture sessions that I may need to have. I make sure I get all the most important things done in the morning so that I can enjoy the rest of the day. Although I check my emails in the morning, I do cut back on emails. So if it's something I know is gonna take up too much of my time, no, I literally skim through my emails during my holiday trips because I don't wanna get caught up in emails. I just said I wanna enjoy the moment. And I actually sent out a notification. So if someone sends me an important email, they will receive an automated message saying, I'm not available at this moment and I'll get back to you at X time. The fourth thing is that I exercise frequently. Like it's crazy. When you're on holiday, there's so much junk food. And on this island, it's unlimited food. Like I'm not joking, you can order anything you want at any time. And honestly, it's a feast out here. Like people are eating very good here. And if you're a drinker, I'm not a drinker, but this is unlimited drinks. So can you imagine how many drinks are coming? Honestly, it's so hard to stay awake. So <laughs> during the night when we're partying and having a bit of fun, I'm falling asleep in a bar. Because yeah, I'm a lightweight. As big as I am, I can't really drink that much. So when it comes to drinking and eating, I've got to balance that with doing a bit of a jog in the morning and go to the gym. So yes, for me, I exercise very frequently when I travel. And lastly, network, network, network. And what, what, what I mean by that is that, listen, don't be on your phone when you're in gatherings with people. Speak to people, say hi, get to know them. You never know who these people are. I'm not saying, oh, you'll be their best friends, but at the same time, like, there's no point on being on holiday and being on your phone all the time. So when you're in an environment where there's other people, connect with them, get to know them, have a bit of fun, join in with the activities, don't be boring, um, because you never know opportunities can present itself just from having a conversation with someone. So on my last trip at Anguilla, uh, I met the owner of one of the major, and beauty brands and just from having that conversation and telling them this is what I do and he's on my skill set he was like oh you know what I may need your service so he set up a meeting with his marketing head um, when I got back to LA so yeah those are my tips on how to stay productive during your holiday trips listen when you're on holiday enjoy it but I know if you're an entrepreneur and unfortunately you've got to you know what I mean make a living as well you can't just have fun and let your business crumble because someone else is not running that for you so if you're a small business owner just like myself unfortunately you're gonna to have to run things listen you might have a family member or friends that can keep things ticking whilst you're away then fantastic if you can't you could try and automate things you can try outsource things or just as you said put a notification and let your clients know that you'll be away um, for a few days it's nothing wrong with that but at the same time it depends on your, the nature of your business as well so exactly that you don't want to let down your customers and your customers come first and on that note thank you for listening to my tips